Hello, friends. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to Shadow Clay Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There's plenty of content to catch up on. And if you like spicy content like this, there is actually a whole playlist dedicated to that. So if it's something you're interested in, make sure to check that out. And friends, if you're returning, well, you know, I tell you all the time, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel. I love hanging out with you guys here. Um, you know, it's always my hope that you guys also enjoy your time here and that, you know, you can hear a message or two that can help you in your real life off of the internet, friends. Now, let's get to it. I know why we're here. <laughs> Today, we're going to be looking into your next or your first time with them, this person on your mind. Um, you know, friends, how spicy it's going to get, I don't know, but we'll see. We're definitely going to be looking into that topic. So with that being said, it is an 18 plus reading. Um, also, please keep in mind, you know, you know, what's up. It's a collective reading on YouTube. If I happen to pick up energy on someone that it doesn't sound like someone you want to be dealing with, or it's not something you're into, those are all signs that it's not your story. So keep that in mind, because I know that this reading um, might be triggering to some people. Now, also, same Z's goes, if you do not like my delivery, um, you know, if you listen to enough of my readings, I cannot take myself seriously sometimes. It's just, <laughs> that's who I am. Listen, um, just go with it. Um, so, but if you do not enjoy it, then, you know, it's cool. I get it. Um, please feel free to click off the reading. Um, it's all good. All right, friends. So we have, I'm already giggly. I'm like, I don't even know what to expect, but yeah, buckle up, friends. Let's see what comes through today. Um, so yeah, we're just going to be catching the vibes. We're going to be looking into, like I said, your first or your next time with them. We are going to be asking the question, what's going to be the energy between you guys um, at the time of this, you know, encounter? And then, of course, we're going to be getting details as to what it's actually like and what you can expect. Um, yeah, we'll be using Oracle cards. Let's do initials. Let's do dice. Let's do charms. And let's do messages all of that it's a party friends so let's get to it three groups to choose from we have group number one group number two and group number three whenever you're ready i'll meet you at your reading hello my group number one if you pick the sticker then welcome to your reading friends i can't even tell you this sticker is actually very special to me i have had this since Oh my goodness. Yeah, 2004 for sure. I was going to say it was the early 2000s. And Tower Records was still open on Sunset Boulevard in LA and I used to I used to go there and I remember when Courtney Love's record, I don't even remember the name of that record, but what I do remember is you guys know I've always been a fan of art of you know, artists, tattoo artists, like all that stuff. That's why my collection is so big. But anyway, the artist that did that airbrush portrait of Courtney Love, that's Olivia. She's a really famous, um, super talented, super famous, super amazing um, artist, animator. I guess she's a pinup artist. Yeah. Anyway, so I recognized it right away. So I didn't think I had any more of those stickers left and I actually found that in an old box and I was very happy and I was like, I'm going to use this on the channel. So um, anyway, just a little story behind that sticker. I guess it's 20 years old, right? Oh, little me. Oh no, little me going to Tower Records. Yeah. Listen, maybe you guys are into music too. Maybe you guys are collectors of some sort. Let's get to it. My group number ones, thank you for joining me here today. We are going to be looking into your first or your next time with this person, this person on your mind, friends. Um, we are going to begin by checking in on the energy between you two um, at the time of, you know, when this goes down. And then we will be checking in on the encounter and seeing what details we can get about that. Friends, it is a collective reading on YouTube. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. If I happen to trigger you with something I say, or um, the energy of the person doesn't sound like someone you'd want to deal with. I, I understand. Those are just indicators that it may not be your story. All right, let's begin. Thank you for joining me, my group number ones. And thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for 
my group number ones. My group number ones. Oh, that was, I didn't even notice that. The Queen of Pentacles. Someone could be a little entrepreneur, own your own business, is handling things, or is just a boss. Messages for my group number ones. Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us, please? about my group number ones, their first or their next time with this person. What can we know about the energy between them at the time of this encounter? What's the energy between them like? Messages for my group number ones. So we're also looking for confirmations as well, friends, if this is your group. So you should be able to identify this energy as something that sounds familiar. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What's the energy between them like at the time of this encounter? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Oh, <laughs> surrender. So this feels like it's been a long time coming or there's been kind of tension between you guys for some time. For some of you, this may not be like the first time or you guys are in a situation where it's like, I think there's been opportunity before and someone maybe didn't make their move because when this happens, you guys are in a similar situation again. And in the past, I don't really think anything happened. And then afterwards, someone was like, huh? Yeah. Cause someone didn't have the confidence. Someone hid their feelings. So that kind of sparked either anxiety between you guys or like a, a realization of shit. I need to make a move or someone needs to make a move. Yeah, because this is like almost like second attempt or this is another attempt. Now, that's for some of you. That feels like it's for those of you that maybe it's your first time with this person. Now, regardless of if it's not your first time or if it is, it just feels like you're repeating something. So if it's not your first time with them, then you're repeating a a time frame where it goes long enough where you miss them. And now you guys are maybe, uh, you know, going in a roundabout way, trying to move in their direction or they are towards you. Either way, we're hiding the feelings here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, Spirit. So it's not the first time. By the Nine of Wands in reverse, we have strong Leo coming through as well as Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. By the Nine of Wands in reverse, what can you tell us? What's the energy between them? Yeah, I, I'm not hiding this anymore. That's, it's like surrender. I'm not hiding it. Some of them are like, this time I'm going after what I want. And others of them are saying, I'm going after what I want again. <laughs> Again, I mean, you'll know if you've already hooked up with this person or not. Yeah, this is how it's almost like for some of you. It's uh, not reconciliation, but it's like, this is what I needed. This is exactly what I needed. Or this is what I need right now. And then the feeling is mutual. Both of you feel that you can't get enough of each other or you've missed each other or you missed in the past, for those of you that this is the first time um, that you hook up with this person, it's like, we had this chance in the past and it didn't happen. And now we're doing something about it. Yeah, someone's taking a leap of faith. Okay, now for those of you, for the, okay, so for some of you, this is obvious that this is your first time with this person. Now for others of you, that it's not and it's a repeat with the same person this feels like their approach towards you is going to be different they're going to come towards you in a way that um they haven't done that in the past we're going to see if we can get more info about that thank you spirit oh yeah yeah we're just friends right i'm just checking in right nah this person's got the hots for you they're trying to hide it they're trying to be chill. They're trying to be like, you know, almost like looking at you, like side-eyeing you. Definitely side-eye or definitely like peripheral. 
you know what I'm noticing as I'm saying that is that none of these cards are facing are straight facing except for the wish card yeah um this person's gonna be a little charmer you guys are into it don't get me wrong you're into it but yeah their approach is going to be different it's not like something you kind of experienced before now this could even be saying for those of you that this is your first time this is very like romantic or this is very like it ha uh, so it happens it ends up happening naturally like this is where all things we're leading to is this is where we're heading right but we are hiding our intentions the whole way there or at least to some degree that's seven of swords we're hiding it someone's also hiding the fact that they have feelings here but you can tell in the way that they kiss you or you kiss them. You guys have a lot of like fun and passion between you. Lots of like making out or lots of like teeing. <laughs> um, that's cute. Listen, this is at someone's house. Yeah, this feels like it's. It feels like it's unexpected. We're at someone's house. Empress could be yours or somewhere that you're very comfortable. Yeah, you are, you're into it. The vibes are good. The vibes are, I miss you. The vibes are, I don't want to miss out on this. They're sweet. There is an issue from the past that is going to be cleared up or you're going to be wondering about it if it doesn't end up getting addressed or it's not cleared up. So whatever happened before that missed opportunity or that something. Now, if this is not a new person, this might be you're wanting to address the fact of, yeah, maybe it was a long time or maybe you're trying to feel out if they feel the same, if they also missed you, like maybe you're trying to figure out where they're coming from because they're, you're Empress and they're coming at you seven of swords and all these pages and a knight. maybe you're dealing with someone that's like a little younger than you or like less mature than you. Or the situation could just, you know, be newer. It doesn't have to be that there's an age difference. But I do feel like you feel very strongly about this. And you feel very, you're feeling good about this. <laughs> Regardless of this person showing up as a little page over here. Yeah, they're going to take some kind of leap of faith. Maybe you're kind of charmed by how they come towards you. Because it's almost like you didn't see it coming or you guys weren't really talking when this happens. That's the other thing. So you weren't really talking because of something that happened from the past. You guys weren't seeing eye to eye. Maybe you were trying not to give the situation attention. You were trying to move on. This person, you thought they were over it. I don't know. Some of you have. That might be the thing that is uh, needs to be cleared up or will be cleared up. Wow. Temperance in reverse. Yeah, someone here felt blocked or maybe blocked from you or feeling left out. Like we don't know what's really going on or what's the truth, what's going on in each other's lives or in this situation, something like that. Yeah, it's Someone here had enough of kind of ignoring either the red flags or being ignored. <laughs> if you were ignoring this person, this person had enough. Um, yeah, someone here kind of pretended. This person pretends. Oh, it's hiding their emotions. So they pretend they do hide their emotions. And I'm going to say pretend because it only works to a certain degree. Yeah. Interesting. 
I am going to say that you are dealing with someone that you trigger. They weren't expecting to, uh, it's almost like they weren't expecting to, to feel this way or to put in the effort that they do or to feel the need to come towards you. Like, I, I can't tell if you make them nervous or I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. All right. Let's get to it. <laughs> Group number ones. Well, now that we know the energy between you guys, if that sounds semi-familiar, then let's see what your actual encounter, what your first or your next time is going to be like with them. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. What's their first or their next time going to be like with this person? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number one. What's their first or next time going to be like? What can we know? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. What's their first or their next time going to be like with this person? What's their first or their next time going to be like? Oh, someone's going to release. Listen. What's their first or their next time going to be like? <laughs> you are like, I feel like one of you is very frustrated. One of you is, uh, it almost feels like either very sexually like frustrated and is like, you have something to say about it. Maybe there's like a past <laughs> again, something about the past. There's a past situation. What's their first or their next time going to be? It's almost like we need to talk about something. And maybe there's like a little bit of regret there on your part, or there's something here that you need to know. You're very comfortable. And it's like, you know, that you know, you want to do this. And like this person I feel like they make you comfortable enough where it's like you're out of, I'm not saying you're out of your comfort zone, but you're doing something that you, it's like you have to feel comfortable in order to be doing that. So it almost makes me feel like you guys are comfortably like naked or you're comfortably like, I don't know, there's vulnerability here that's happening for sure. Like on different levels, not just, it's like intimacy on different levels, which to me, intimacy isn't just sexual it's also like the emotion the sharing the vulnerability um and i feel like there's something like that happening where we normally wouldn't but we are and that's how we're connecting so there's an an acknowledgement here that there's a space between you guys that needs to close or you guys need to come closer before i think you're really ready to connect with this person so i feel like you guys aren't just trying to like <laughs> like f the pain away like peaches says you guys are trying to um get closer because there is some kind of distance here and there's an uh, there's a wanting to understand or there's someone here that wants to kind of say something or or feels like something needs to be addressed now, I do feel like, friends, I feel like you are going to be so, like, hot and bothered and ready to go. Like, if it's not you, it's them. But someone is, like, really, like, I am ready. I've been wanting this for a long time. I've been fantasizing about this. I'm done. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm done thinking about it. Um, I'm ready for more. But there's something here. Um I am getting there's lots of kissing. There's moments of kind of trying to figure out what the other is comfortable with. Um, you know, especially if it's your first time with this person, it's almost like we're taking it very slow. Um, you know, that could also be the needing to be closer. Like someone here is trying to kind of feel the waters. I am getting that it's very sweet and there is a lot of kissing. And there's someone here who's like yearning and like wanting more. Um, Let's see why the five of cups, someone here feels like we don't have enough time. 
Maybe that's you. Maybe that's why you feel a little frustrated or rushed. One more, please. So back to those of you who there's something here that you want to discuss or that needs to be cleared up. The air needs to be cleared up before. It's like maybe that's making you like a little defensive. Someone here does feel like they're either a little aggressive or a little defensive. So you guys are just trying to kind of figure out almost like how much is too much between logically thinking how much is too much versus getting kind of swept up in desire. And I feel like you're definitely kind of getting swept up in desire because a part of you is just wanting this really bad. But there's also like a need here to like slow down as well. Because there's something about the pace of it or maybe you feel like you ended up initiating action or i don't know there's there's something here though that that you're kind of thinking about i don't think it's stopping you but it's definitely um someone is questioning like i think that this person might be questioning what you're comfortable with and you might be taking it as a why are you having to initiate this and they're not trying to make you uncomfortable or trying to make you feel like they're trying to move too fast. You know, like I feel like it might be coming from your side. And so maybe that's where there's a little bit, I'm not going to say miscommunication, but it does feel like it's something that you're like, huh? Let's see what else. Thank you, spirit messages from my group number one. What's their first or next time with this person going to be like? What can you tell us about this encounter? Thank you, Spirit. Messages from my group number ones. What can you tell us about this encounter? Like, don't get me wrong. This person really wants you. Like, they use their, like, tongue a lot. <laughs> or like you do. I don't know. Someone is, someone is definitely swirling something around. I don't, I don't know, friends. I don't know. But this person, as much as they want you, I'm going to be honest, they're not sure. They're not moving forward in the way that you uh, maybe want them to, or maybe let's face it, fantasized that they would, you know, sweep you off of your feet and like smack your booty and like, I can just go for it. I don't, I don't think they're doing that. Not because they don't want to. I'm sure they want to. They're the king of wands. But they're just not sure. So maybe this is also encouraging you to kind of be honest um, about your situation. Like, you know, maybe it has been a long time. I don't know. Maybe for some of you, this is actually your very first time ever. Or for some of you, you're, you know, there's things about this person that you want them to do different. If those of you that this is not a first time with this person. Maybe you want more from them and maybe this is encouraging you to kind of, well, voice that or say that or, you know, I don't know, because I don't think that they're just going to magically know that. And this person is very, they're not sure of what you like or what you're comfortable with. And that's the only thing that kind of stops them. But this person, they're just is kind of hot and bothered as you are. They love what you do. They love how confident you are and how attentive you are. And they they love that about you. They're very attracted to you as well. But yeah, they're they're not sure. There's something here they're not sure. So I can only assume that that's kind of a part of your guys's connection that it might show up in different ways. And maybe, like I said, maybe it's just a, a highlighting a need to learn to communicate. Or if you guys do communicate, you know, I don't know. Maybe there's something about this specific need that you have that maybe this person doesn't know or doesn't realize how you kind of want them to be. Or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Is there a suggestion box for you? My group number one's. 
let's get more details thank you spirit what else can we know about this encounter my group number ones their next or their first time with this person that they came to this reading for what can you tell us more details about this encounter please thank you spirit messages for my group number ones what else can we know about this encounter thank you spirit messages for my group number ones what else can we know what is this encounter going to be like So yeah, I, it's going back to something's moving too slow for someone. And someone is like, are you going to go for it? And it's almost like it's bumming someone out. I, and I kind of feel like it might be you, friends. And it's like, yeah, this person is definitely going to take the opportunity. But they're also not just going to like... Uh, they're not going to like as much as you want them to like press you up against the wall <laughs> they're not going to do that because they're not confident enough to do that they're kind of feeling it out they're like are you okay with this are you into this so this might even feel like maybe you like kiss them or you kind of make the opportunity obvious or maybe you feel that way I don't know there's something here though that I think leading up to it. You're wondering if they're going to make a move. You're also, you're like second guessing as well. You guys are looking for cues from each other. Why the moon reverse? Yeah, this is like right leading up to it. Now, I don't know if there's also like a, something like secretive about your connection or about yeah or like no one knows yet or i don't know but whatever it is i definitely think you guys are going to be it, there feels like there's a reconnecting now again if this is it doesn't mean it's not your first time with this person or that it is or that it isn't it just means that there was some kind of issue that you guys had to work through and this person, it's like they are taking their time, but it's like they're definitely going to be making a move. But it's almost like not quick enough for you or something like that. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. That's what they want to talk about today. <laughs> you guys both want each other, but your person is, they don't want to come off as like, they don't want to like turn you off or come off as being too aggressive or because they can be. That's the thing that they can be. And I think that you know that about this person and, you know, that attracts you to them. But at the same time, it's like they don't want to. I don't know. It's the, I don't know if it's offend you or scare you or upset you or do something that you're uncomfortable with. But they're definitely going to be taking the opportunity. And then you're going to kind of realize like, oh, okay. They did want this. <laughs> oh, silly me. I made that. I made up that drama in my head. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then this person's going to be, they're actually pretty traditional. Maybe that's why they're moving slow. Okay. Number one, so you guys are all horny and desperado. And this person's all just trying to be a little like chivalrous. <laughs> um, listen, this person, they're actually going to surprise you. I'm sitting here cracking up, but it's true. Look, the guru in the tower, they're going to surprise you with either their morals or their beliefs or actually, um, you know, they, they're how proper they are. I don't know. It's like this person they're they're onto something, huh? No, but for real, they, they are on something, um, on something traditional or spiritual. As I say, they're on something. And then I leave it at that. I don't know if they are on something, this would be someone that like, I don't know, enjoys the occasional like little dose of like mushrooms or something. I don't know, something like that. Look at this guru, something natural or like smoking, if they did. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if some of them are in touch with some kind of tradition or culture or belief system or like natural yeah, maybe natural practices. If it's not that, 
back to the other thing. This person's going to surprise you by how traditional they actually are. Oh, look at that. I, I am getting that they are, um, they don't, sh okay, so they definitely don't show this to everyone, but they are romanticals and they are passionate. Like you, you're going to know, like when they kiss you, like you're going to feel it. Yeah, that, the tongue thing with this person, this person like knows what they're doing too. Makes me think that they, interesting so this person definitely um i think they they seem like a little bit like rough around the edges like from the outside or but you see this different side to them <laughs> okay as i start hearing tupac thugs get lonely too i mean maybe i don't know but you guys are into each other <clears throat> and you're kind of doubting that somewhere along the way Oh, my group number ones. All right, let's get Oracle cards for you guys. Thank you, Spirit. My group number ones, their first or their next time with this person. What else can we know, please? Their first or their next time with this person. <laughs> Not the ho ho is coming out. That's what you guys want to do. And this person's all trying to be slow and proper. And you're like, no, <laughs> you're all. <laughs> I'm done. Look at the twerking at the bottom of this card, you guys. Can you see that? I hope you can. Um, listen, that speaks for itself. You guys are over here trying to be seductive and trying to get this person. And then maybe a part of you, not that you're feeling rejected, but you're like, damn, like, you know, are they going to make a move? And they're just kind of taking their time. All right. We have like a dog with a bone. I feel like this person cannot like get, keep their mind off you or their eyes off you. And they want to not keep their hands off of you. But at the same time, they don't want to offend you. We have make the first move. That's where that frustration is coming from. Then we have sick of this cycle yet. This is not the first time this has happened. Then it's ice them out. Maybe that's the tactic that you took or that happened in the past. But at the same time, I do feel like you guys were missing each other or you were missing them. Something like that, my friends. Um, I definitely, yeah, we, we did get the feeling that this wasn't the first time. All right, let me move some stuff around. I always accidentally leave my iPad on top of this bowl. All right, let's get you guys some charms. Thank you, Spirit. That's just for my group number one. Their first or next time with this person. I do think you're a little frustrated with either them or the situation or how long it's taken for them to make a move. All right, let's see. We got the sacred heart with the dagger. So passion, love, and pain. I didn't notice that there's a little spot. Oh, no, it's because I was like, why is there orange there? Oh, because ripe and ready to eat wasn't the bot at the stuck to the back of it. You guys, that's you. You're fucking ripe and ready to be eaten, my friends. Listen, I don't hate the player, friends. Hate the game because I'm just over here with my little charms and cards. We have you are enough. Maybe um, someone here has an issue with confidence. We have the crying woman again. I think that's crying of frustration. You might be sexually frustrated to the point of tears. <laughs> we have the Rolling Stones mouth. Um, this person's really good with their mouth. I was picking up on that, the whole tongue talk. Um, also, Mick Jagger. I mean, you know, that man probably knows what he's been doing, right? We have Bjork <laughs> wearing the swan dress. Um, what you're wearing, you know, you could know what you're doing with what you're wearing, something that kind of brings attention to certain parts of your body. Again, that twerking right there, um, but also transformation and this connection. Also, someone's fashion or hair or makeup. Um, to back that up, we have Amy Winehouse. Maybe someone here likes Amy Winehouse, but I'm also, I never even thought like the name Amy as well. 
then we have the nine millimeter dagger someone needing to pull their triggers on their passions on this situation someone's going to pull the trigger all right we have cou this makes me think of cougar maybe someone thinks or some there's an age difference um we also have couch so you guys are sitting on the couch are you going to make a move are you going to get closer to me we have sly sly someone's trying to be sly ct makes me think of cute we also have j and w we have k uh, we almost we're missing the d but we almost got the d that can also be lick we have jt all right let's get you guys some um some of these i do i need to rewrite these but these are not ones that we pulled recently i didn't end up putting the last like ones that we used from a month ago back all right let's see what we have here All right, we have Cancer, we have Virgo, we have seven and nine. Oh yeah, September could be significant, um, especially with that Virgo. We have Capricorn as well. Uh, actually, all Earth signs are coming through. We have Saturn, so someone could be a parent or someone's like a business owner, like big provider energy. Maybe someone like is good at making others feel safe. It also makes me think of that. All right, we have a stay in. So couch and stay in, and we, we're getting vibes of home, being in someone's home. You're comfortable specifically, so it could be your place. We have sports, bowling. So someone here could be into sports, or there could be like, someone could like to bowl. Maybe uh, you guys have been bowling with this person, or you guys have talked about it, or maybe we'll be talking about it. We have, again, <laughs> sick of this cycle again this is not the first time it seems this person has used up all their little free passes with you because i am picking up friends i feel your frustration um yeah you guys you guys are definitely frustrated we have winter there could have been something that happened in winter we'll put this with ice them out could have been when the temps the temps dropped and yours was raising friends and this person was nowhere to be found we have air sign. This makes me think of Aquarius. That's the last air sign that we had. Actually, that's the winter's air sign. Yeah, so um, maybe someone's an Aquarius or Gemini or Libra. We did have that justice card in reverse earlier, um, and that is Libra. Then we have quiet. Someone's been quiet or someone is quiet. Then we have car drive. Someone could be driving towards you or there's something about their car. Not the first time we get something about cars. Then we have, I want you. That's confirmation for you guys. This person does want you, but something is, they're not a, uh, you know, they're not just gonna unleash, even if you do want them to. Maybe not until after you tell them you do. Mm -hmm. Then we have nighttime. They're gonna be coming by at nighttime. You're gonna be staying in that night. And then we have Backseat of My Jeep by L. O. Cool J. There is something about a car, so maybe someone drives a Jeep. And we did have the J. All right. Um, let me see what else we have. So we have Saturn. We have Jupiter. So someone here could be really, like, lucky in gambling or lucky in some type of way. Things that they invest in could grow. That was random. <laughs> Um, but yeah, someone could just be very abundant in some kind of way. All right. My group number ones, that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks guys. Hello, my group number twos. If you pick the sticker, <laughs> then welcome to your reading friends. Today, we are going to be looking into your first or your next time with this person on your mind, friends. Uh, we're going to begin by checking in on the energy between you two at the time of this, you know, encounter. And then we will be moving into, you know, what you can expect, what the actual encounter is going to be like. 
Now, how spicy the reading's going to get, you know, I, I never know what's going to come through. But because of the topic we are discussing, this is an 18 plus reading friends. So I just want to throw that out there. And let's begin my group number two is also remember that it is a collective reading on YouTube. So, um, you know, if I happen to pick up energy of someone that you don't like, or it's not resonating, it's confusing you, or you don't like my delivery, those are all stupid, super valid reasons um, to not claim the reading as your story, because it sounds like it's not. All right, my group number twos, thank you for joining me today, and let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today. For my group number twos, my group number twos, please. Their next or their first time with this person on their mind. What can you tell us, please? What can you tell us? What's the energy going to be like between them at the time of this encounter? What's going to be going on? What can we know? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. What's the energy going to be like between them at the time of this encounter? What can we know about the circumstances or any details of my group number twos next or their first time with this person? Thank you, Spirit. Keep getting that. The Knight of Wands keeps coming through lots of passion building up <laughs> maybe you've been wanting this for a while or someone has messages for my group number two please what's the energy between them i just heard finally we have libra energy <laughs> messages for my group number twos what's the energy between them at the time of this encounter oh yeah this is something that has already started Something that has been brewing for either a while or I don't know. And now we just can't hold back. And now it feels like things are aligning. It also, it feels like you guys haven't really been talking or uh, maybe this person, you don't even really know what they're up to. It, I, it's almost like this person, they're not, they're not the most expressive or they're, I don't know. Maybe you guys, there's something here about social media or I, it's like there's an issue there or there's an issue with communication if it's not social media. It's almost like we haven't seen each other. Maybe some time has gone by. Maybe that's what's been brewing. We have Empress and Queen of, we have both the Empress and the Queen of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck with the High Priestess. You could have been giving them a silent treatment or you guys hadn't been talking. Yeah, so if that's the case, if that's your story, this feels like this, they're putting an ending to that chapter or that's the vibes when this happens. It doesn't feel like, I don't know, I, it feels kind of quiet leading up to this. It's interesting. Messages from my group number twos, please. What's the energy between them and this person? What are the circumstances, this encounter? Yeah, no, they wanted to come out. It's funny they said I said what I said. I just saw the hermit as well. So you guys weren't talking to them or you weren't accessible. You were maybe laying low. Why the justice? Oh, yeah, you guys. The vibes are vibing. What did I say? They're like, you're not talking to me. Okay. Or you're, you're not online, you're not showing me what you're up to, or you're not answering my messages. Okay, we're about to end that. <laughs> I don't know. It's almost like I don't even know if they're letting you know that they're on their way or that this is what they're planning or that this is what's about to happen. Because they're not going to, it's almost like no warning or no words, just action. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to pop in and be like, hi. What are you up to? How's it going? How have you been? And you're like, what? You're like, I am busy. <laughs> I am not available. You're frustrated. I'm going to I'm going to dig in on that. Interesting. You guys are starting 
So yeah, whatever's going on between you guys, it's almost, I don't know, is it one of those things where it's about to be like makeup sex or it's been like something like that? Or you guys haven't been able to, I feel like you haven't been talking to this person. And you're not trying to say much. You're trying to let them, yeah, you're, you're kind of sitting back and seeing what are they going to do or what are they going to say? More than anything is what are they going to say? There's something about a conversation here. For some of you, you could be um, deciding if you want to give them the time. For others of you, you could be having a discussion of how maybe um, a decision needing to be made or a choice that someone needs to make. And it's regarding what they're giving here, what they're investing into this or what they're giving their time to. You could just have been uh, like made yourself unavailable to certain things. And that's the time thing where you're kind of like debating. I kind of feel like you're sitting back and maybe letting this person show you. Like you're like, what are you up to? Because you're being very observant here. But at the same time, I do feel like you're receptive to coming back together or to, if it does with that five of pentacles in reverse, it does feel like coming back together. And it does feel like you don't want conflict or drama either, but you're also, you're observing. I do think that you guys are excited that three of cups, you guys are having a good time. And I do think it's this person that came towards you or is going to be coming towards you, I should say. There could be a connection here with work or maybe you've known them for a long time or I don't know. Justice and Ten of Pentacles, maybe they make their money through some kind of rules and regulations or law or something. Maybe there's something here about a divorce. Or you're going through, you're not feeling supported through something. I don't know. There, There's something here that you're not really, I don't think that you've been really getting. And you're just kind of open to seeing what, what this person has to offer or what they have to say. Or maybe you're just even enjoying the company and you're like, well, I'm, I'm going to entertain this for now. Now, it doesn't mean that that's how you're approaching it, that you're just like, nah, I don't think so. Some of you are definitely into this person, but there is something here that I just, I don't think that you're, you're satisfied with either with this person or in the situation. All right. I don't know. Maybe this person spends too much time talking about something and <laughs> you want to know about other things. I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I'm just a little translator over here with these little cards. Let's get to it. So if you recognize those vibes, <laughs> I don't know. Was that enough to recognize vibes from? I hope it was. Friends, let's get to it. Let's get some details about this actual encounter. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. Their first or their next time with this person. What can you tell us? What can they expect? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos. Their next or their first time with this person they came to this reading for. What can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos their next or their first time with this person. Thank you, Spirit. What can you tell us? Messages from my group number twos. What's it going to be like? What can they expect? Not the five of cups. Someone here is 
So this encounter, someone, they're afraid to like disappoint you. This, I don't, someone here has got a lot of fear or there is a lot of unknowns. Maybe there's secrecy here. So the energy surrounding this encounter, so back to makeup sex, I am kind of feeling like it might be makeup sex, you guys, for some of you, or there's something here that we're about to, hmm, we're about to release in this way, but I do feel it's makeup sex because there's almost like a feeling of, it's like desire and passion, but it's also mixed with some kind of, I don't know if it's sadness or tension. I'm going to stick to makeup sex. If you know that's for you, then that's for you. All right. Why the six of swords in reverse? Why the nine of swords? Why the empress? Interesting. Why the moon card? You guys, this does feel like it's a secret something. This feels like you guys get together and like either no one knows or it's really late at night. It's like unexpected. And it's like the timing just happens to work out. This sword energy, this is still talking about what leads up to this. There was a lot of stress over an ending here. Maybe this is someone that you've tried to walk away from, or maybe there is a lot of anxiety or tension leading up to this. I don't know, but there is a lot that wasn't clear here, and it's about to be revealed in this encounter. Ace of Swords in reverse, the sun with the moon. We're also hiding this. It's like a little secret rendezvous or something. If it's not a secret, again, um, Maybe it's so late at night that it goes in till the sun starts to come up. I don't, I'm almost getting like, we're almost like a little loopy maybe because it's so like late at night. Now you're happy with this encounter, but I am going to say it's almost like night and day. The way you were feeling when the sun started to go down the day before, the night before, is not how you're going to be feeling about it when the sun comes up the next day. Very interesting turn of events for you. I'm actually surprised we don't have the tower. Well, well, well. Yeah. Someone here was afraid of missing an opportunity or yeah, maybe someone here saw the perfect opportunity. You guys are going to be having fun. That's for sure. There's a familiarity with you guys. Very flirty, very touchy. Oh yeah, very touchy. This person loves it, how you touch them. Someone could be a fire sign, doesn't have to be. There's something new about this. It, it, maybe it's because it's your first time for those of you. But if not, this, this time feels different than others. There's an intensity to it. Someone here was really afraid. So when this happens, it's like someone was afraid that they lost or afraid that it was a missed opportunity. I don't know. Or you just make them that nervous. <laughs> we have strong Leo and Scorpio energies, Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Pisces as well. This could be someone that you're on a break from and you're not talking to. They're slowly making their way back. That's not for everyone, but for some of you, you'll know if that's for you. All right. Well, 
maybe, I mean, if it's your first time, maybe you're just really nervous. Someone's, someone's nervous. Someone's stressed about this encounter. Or it's makeup sex. It just depends. <laughs> it just depends, friends, on what's going on with your situation. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you tell us? What else can you tell us about this encounter? It's going to be unexpected. This, this isn't something that was planned or that you saw coming. That, maybe that's why it feels like it's late in the darkest time of night because you don't see it coming. Even if it's not technically at the witching hours, I do feel that it is very unexpected. Messages for my group number twos, please. Details about this encounter with this person, their first or their next time. Messages for my group number twos, please. Thank you, Spirit. We're going to take these up, right? Someone's going to come in and surprise you. This person's going to surprise you. Again, there's this feeling of being very familiar. And you guys weren't talking. I don't know why that keeps stressing it. I don't know if you just didn't see them coming or if you assumed they were somewhere else. or I don't know. There's an element of surprise to it. And this does feel like they're coming towards you. I do feel like you're trying to keep yourself um, like emotionally guarded or maybe a little bit distant from them. Or it's just you're trying to protect yourself. But it does feel like it took this, maybe it's because it took this person a while or it's been a long time since you've done this or, you know, only you'll know what your situation is. You guys have both fantasized about this. You're going to be doing things with this person that you fantasized about. So whatever that is, things that you, you know what you think about, <laughs> you know what you think about on your, on your own time. You're going to be doing those things. <laughs> also there's something here like someone here is being very like romantic or sweet and you're trying to stay guarded or make it funny <laughs> i i can relate to that <laughs> you're you're like not so fast why are you trying to why are you trying to you know romance me i mean maybe if it's not it doesn't have to be like that but it's almost like i'm on to you i'm on to you <laughs> you can't you can't fool me <laughs> um but yeah it, it's kind of like that the dynamic that queen of swords we have six of wands with the ace of wands and again the hermit we're not talking okay so one thing's for sure you guys know what each other likes and if you're if you're dealing with a guy or if you are a guy it's like you know it likes to be touched like a lot by you or the other person flip the rules if you need to but there's something here this person just really loves how you touch them and they love the attention and the the attentiveness perhaps or maybe they're giving you the attention either way though you guys are feeling really good about it but you are trying to stay a little cold a little guarded just as like defense mechanism i do feel like you guys are um yeah, I, you know, I do feel you guys are going to enjoy each other. And I do feel like you are going to feel a lot better about where things are at with this person after this encounter. Yeah, someone's definitely going to be finishing. <laughs> well, I haven't seen the Ace of Cups yet, but there's a lot of, there's a lot of fluid here. But there's also a lot of like, you're not trying to get like lost in the sauce like yes you're falling into it yes it feels good but you're also kind of staying you know guarded and you definitely have your boundaries as you should there's also something very traditional about this which makes me think you know if if uh like some of you guys are having very traditional sex whatever that means like to you like maybe it's a very traditional position or something that you like 
there's also this person thinks that you're very um, experienced, not <laughs> not in a like, damn, what's the body count way? Not like that, but in a way where they just know like you, they view you very seriously, very mature, and they like what you do. You know, they like how you move. They love your body as well. Maybe that's also something that's like traditional where you guys look like an actual like person. Like if you're a woman, you look like a real woman, you know, meaning it's not all crazy filtered AI, like what we're seeing, what our eyeballs are being distorted to. You guys are like classic um, a classic, classic beauty, perhaps. Let's see what else. You guys have both been thinking about this for a long time. And I do think that you guys are going to be experimenting. I do think one of you wants to ask the other for something, but there is a little like nervousness, maybe a little shyness to it. <laughs> What else, please, on that Seven of Cups? Messages from my group number twos. Yeah, someone here is undecided. You guys are definitely um, horny for each other, friends. It's cute chemistry, for sure. The chemistry is definitely there. I will say. The communication, not so much. Not so much. One more on the Page of Swords in reverse with the Hermit. Oh, maybe we have to keep it quiet from the community. What did I say? Yeah. So there's lots of fluids are going to be happening. <laughs> I was going to say pouring out, coming out. No, no. All of the above. It's happening. Oh, yeah. So this is also going to be a pivotal point in your connection. It's interesting. Um, so I haven't listened to like this artist Cat Power in many years. And when this combo came out, I immediately started hearing her voice. And there's a song lyric that says, what would the community think? And that's what that made me think. I wonder if there's concern over hiding this from certain people that we know or having to sneak out of the house, perhaps, maybe, um, you know, maybe there's a roommate, I don't know. Um, there's a timing thing at play. But I also want to say that after this next encounter with this person, you guys are going to be um, so emotionally in a better place towards each other and the connection. Um, but you're also going to be getting to know each other better. It's almost like your friendship, your friendship expands or this relationship expands. It's like it's a move in a direction that feels good to you guys. Now, it does feel like there was a timing thing at play where maybe you guys couldn't have been able to connect in this way in the past. I am getting that there's something of secrecy or of mystery. Maybe this person, they don't want people to know, or this person is very mysterious, perhaps. I'm almost getting that they have to mysteriously leave or not mysteriously leave, but maybe they have to leave or get home. I don't know. I'm not getting third party. That's not what I'm getting. But if that applies, like I said, maybe there's roommates or I don't know, maybe there's a reason. Maybe there's a connection with other people, like a work situation or something. Yeah, I think... Um, <clears throat> I think you have your reservations, but all in all, I don't know. Feels like you guys had a had a good time. <laughs> and it does feel like it's like I said, either at your home or somewhere where you're more, more comfortable. All right, my group number twos. Let's get some oracle cards for you guys. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Messages for my group number twos. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Their first or their next time with this person. What can you tell us? Messages for my group number twos. All right, we have Flake. Flake cake. Someone here could have been flaky. I also have, um, I thought of that with Mr. Salty. 
So someone here could have fallen through in the past or, you know, maybe that's part of why you have reservations about this person because of past maybe encounters or what you know of them, even if it's that you're just friends and this is your first time with them. Maybe there has been times in the past where they kind of uh, canceled last minute or left you hanging, something like that. We have let them keep sleeping on you. Uh, maybe you're about to go to bed or maybe there's something here about sleeping. I did see that four of swords come up a couple of times while I was shuffling. So maybe you think that this is someone who is sleeping on you. We have incoming messages. So someone reaching out. We have, you have hella options like hella. So someone here might think the other has lots of options or a reminder that you have options. And then we have planters cheese balls. You could have hella options, but maybe you think they're all cheese balls. Um, maybe this person knows you have options and that's why they're salty. You never know. Some of these people, huh? Um, what else did I pull for? I think I did letters and I don't know if you guys listened to group one and I missed other cards I did. My apologies, friends. <laughs> Let's get some initials. When I tell you, I, I'll, I'll be channeling and I'll fucking put myself in a trance sometimes, guys. All right, let's get some charms. Thank you for it. Messages for my group number two, please. We are going to do um, the astrology dice today as well. So let's see what we got with the initials. We have JL, Lord help us. We have WF. Makes me think of Wonder Woman. We have V, Q. QR, let's see, think of QR code. Someone's cute. Someone's very cute. W S R H and another R. Three R's. All right. Maybe some of those letters mean something to you. Maybe not. It's okay. We have Mickey wearing the ghost sheet, popping in with that poison apple. So you are a little reserved, maybe even a little apprehensive at first towards this person. I do think that you want to connect with them, but I also think, like I said, you're trying to feel them out. Um, we have Baychella 18. Maybe the year 2018 is of importance or someone likes Beyonce. Someone also could have like um, something about their hair. I'm noticing Marge and then Beyonce. Well, she has it covered, but still. Um, someone could have a lot of tattoos or work in healthcare. We have the claw with the star. This always makes me think of Aquarius energy. Maybe someone gets a lot of attention. They're a star. Um, maybe social media following for someone. I also feel like them swooping in out of nowhere. Then we have the LA mini ears. Maybe there's a Disney connection, um, kids or sports, LA as well, or Anaheim. Then we have Bad Bunny. Someone could be seeing Bad Bunny soon or like Bad Bunny. Too many Bad Bunny songs to name. But I will say one of my favorite Bad Bunny playlists is on Apple and it's called Deep Cuts. It's, it's all the good ones. All right. We have numbers one and six. So 16. I also see 10, two, and three. We have Libra and we have Scorpio. So there could be something about October or November, something about that time of year. Um, I'm seeing Aquarius times two and also Libra times two as well. So um, heavy air placements could be important. I'm also seeing 12th, which makes or 12, which makes me think of 12th house, which makes me think of secrets. So again, there could be something secretive here. Um, I'm also, well, we have Uranus coming through. So maybe something unpredictable about this connection. Oh, we have it times two actually. So yeah, maybe unpredictable and with secrets, also fantasies. There's a lot of fantasy between you guys. Let's get you guys some little handwritten messages. Thank you, spirit. Fantasies and secrets, huh? You guys have been wanting this for a while. All right, we have long time. It's been a long time. We have earth sign, so Taurus, 
oh yeah taurus kept coming through um virgo and capricorn your body is banging someone likes your body what did i say that empress and that hierophant that's like classic beauty or like some type of goddess we have candles someone could love candles light candles or could be candles going this person is afraid to tell you someone's afraid to say something or afraid to tell you we have confidence they love your confidence this person also comes off as being very confident we have turn over oh oh <laughs> oh my someone's gonna turn you over listen oh <laughs> who wrote these listen i'm not me getting shy oh no i'm gonna read them to you guys but i need to catch my breath first I don't know who wrote these. I don't know who she was when she wrote these because I don't I don't remember her, but there's evidence of who she was that day or that night. We have um I wonder what it's like to have you. You have moan. This person likes what you sound like, the noises that you make. Oh my gosh, this is the one, guys. This one says, I want you to finish for me. <gasps> oh my god. This person wants to watch you. <laughs> Just got the chills. Oh, neck. This person likes your neck or someone likes their neck kissed. We have want to come over. This person might be waiting for an invite or someone is going to be saying want to come over. We have physical. Yeah, you guys are definitely going to be getting physical. Physical connection as well. That makes me think of your chemistry. Then we have new. New turnover. You guys could be doing a new position if this is someone that you've already <laughs> that you've already had before then we have mouth yeah <clears throat> as i have to clear my throat lots of mouth action listen um pleasure in this group is not gonna be like um it's not a problem the chemistry is not a problem the the makeup sex is if that's what it is the makeup sex is going to be fiery but um there's something else here. It's almost like there's been a lot of holding back that has maybe happened. So, um, yeah, you know who you're dealing with. I do think you're going to have a good time. I do think that there is going to be something very sudden about this. Um, like maybe it wasn't planned, but like I said, there's also like a layer of secrecy to it. My group number two is only, you know, what that's about, but that's what I have for you today. <laughs> Please take care of yourselves. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks guys. Hello, my group number threes. If you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading friends. <laughs> you know why you're here. Today, we're gonna be looking into your next or your first time with this person on your mind, friends. We are gonna begin by looking into the energy between you two at the time that this happens. So that'll kind of give us a little look into the circumstances. That should also give you indicators if this is indeed your reading. Um, and then we will be asking for details about the actual encounter and what you can expect. Because of the topic that we are discussing, this is going to be considered an 18 plus reading, but I just don't know how spicy it's actually going to get, but we're leaving it open. You guys know how that goes. Um, my group number threes. Let's get to it. A reminder as well that this is a collective reading on YouTube. So if I happen to pick up energy of someone that doesn't sound like, you know, a person that you're dealing with anymore or that you want to be dealing with or it's confusing or I'm triggering you with the messaging, um, you know, those are all signs that it's probably not your reading and that's okay. That does happen. Um, all right. Thank you for joining me, my group number threes. Let's get to it. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number threes. My group number threes, please. All right, messages for my group number threes, please. Their first or their next time with this person. What's the energy between them at the time of this encounter? What can we know about the circumstances? What's the energy like between them at the time of this encounter? My group number three is their first or their next time with this person. What can you tell us? Messages for my group number three. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. What can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number three. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Justice card. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. All right. What's going on between these two? What's going on between these two at the time of this? You guys had some kind of ending. 
you're upset, they're not happy, no one's happy. Interesting. That's the circumstances surrounding this. Is someone wants some kind of success or to bring some kind of justice back? It does feel like someone wants to kind of fix something or heal something. Interesting. It's almost like they could have been waiting for you to make a move or you could have been waiting for them to make a move. Why the King of Cups in reverse? Why the Death card? Yeah, it's like someone couldn't take it anymore. Yeah, someone could. Someone's like, fuck this. <laughs> it's like one one of you is waiting for the other to make a move. And it, I don't know, maybe it takes some time or someone realizes that they're not going to make the move. And so they can't take it anymore. It's like this burden that they're tired of thinking of or they're tired of like kind of feeling and they bring an end to this. So I am kind of getting that you guys had either some kind of falling out or some kind of separation or some kind of, I don't know. I don't think you guys were seeing eye to eye or if you were seeing eye to eye, there wasn't clear communication as to what the connection is between you or yeah, I, I don't know. There's something there. You weren't making a move and they weren't either. It's almost like maybe both of you were playing aloof or playing dumb or maybe looking the other way. Maybe you're looking the other way. Maybe you're being a little coy or you're, you know, you got frustrated with this person. There is strong Leo energy coming through. So maybe there's also indicators of like something happening late summer. I am getting though that someone here, I can't tell if they set their pride aside or if they're just like, fuck this. And then they want to come in and hang out with you, reunite with you, you know, <laughs> do the thing with you. All right. Thank you, spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. What's the energy between them at the time of this encounter? What else can you tell us? It's a new beginning. I feel like it's initiated by this person. Or it's initiated by someone that wants more grounding in the connection. They come through like, you know, pretty solid. They're not like, um, you know, they're not coming in as a king of wands in reverse. They're coming in as a king of pentacles. It's almost like they want you to see them seriously. Or take them seriously. Judgment in reverse, the fool in reverse. Maybe they could have felt ignored by you. Yeah, you could have been ignoring them. And maybe they're going to pretend like they didn't notice or pretend they weren't affected and come in as like, you know, I'm going to say the more mature person, but not calling them the more mature person, but maybe they're trying to take high road what else please what's the circumstances surrounding this what's the energy between them when this encounter happens oh this person they want to do the right thing or they realize what they need to do if they want to reconcile with you or if they want a chance with you so this person, it's almost like they take matters into their own hands. And if it's not taking it into their own hands, they take the first step. This person for a long time, this person for a long time was defending their actions or their lack of actions or their lack of something, right? On, on other things when it came to you. And it feels like Things finally kind of get to the breaking point where this person's like, okay, I'm over this. Like, I want group three. I need something to change. And finally, this person has maybe learned a lesson or finally they're ready to do something about it. I say finally because to get to this energy, it feels like it probably took a lot. And look how many majors we have. We have death, sun, judgment, fool, temperance, justice. That's a lot. Yeah, that, that's, oh, we have the full times two, the full reverse and the full upright. So you're not doing anything. You're ignoring them. So this person, 
this person goes for it. I just heard hit me with your best shot. All right. So that's the circumstances. Is this person kind of gets it together or gets some kind of idea? I do think that they come up with an idea. And it's almost like, ha, 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 you know what? It almost feels like a part of them thinks it's like a foolproof idea. <laughs> like group number three can't say no. <laughs> group number three can't say no if I bring if I bring them tacos. <laughs> or fill in the blank, whatever you're into. Or if I, you know, if I show up like this, if I'm serious, or if I, you know, I don't know your person this person huh we'll see well if that resonates if you recognize that energy as something that sounds familiar vaguely familiar my friends let's get to it let's get some details about your first or your next time with them some details of the encounter thank you spirit messages from my group number three please details on this encounter what's it going to be like what do my group number threes need to know thank you spirit what can they expect what is it going to be like the next time that they're with this person? This person's going to be very attentive to you. We have the Eight of Cups. They're leaving. Um, oh, interesting. This person's going to be sharing with you. This person, they left something behind and they're going to be sharing something with you. This person wants you to. Um, oh, interesting. Listen, there's something about. They're debating, telling you, or they want to tell you something about their plans or their home or maybe what they imagine or for you guys. There's a lot of deep, deep connection between you guys happening during this encounter. It does feel like it's going to be um, somewhere that both of you feel very comfortable so this could be like, you know, if this isn't the first time and it's been at one of your guys' places or, you know, it's like you guys are both comfortable there. And I am getting, there's a lot of talking. There's a lot of pillow talk. Someone once asked me what that is. Well, it's, you know, when you, it's lover's talk. <laughs> um, oftentimes done naked after doing other things. I don't know, just throwing that in there. But I do feel you guys are going to be um, having meaningful conversations. It's sweet. What's this encounter going to be like? Thank you, Spirit. What's it going to be like? What can they expect? Messages from my group number threes, please. Yes. Listen, bitches, there's going to be vulnerability that happens. Someone here is being vulnerable and talking about... Um, they could even be telling you like how much they miss you. You guys, this experience is going to strongly bond you guys. This is the energy of like past lovers meeting up again in a different lifetime, you know? Lots of familiarity. You're very um, comfortable with this person. You're also very caring, very endearing. You're like holding them. There's like a lot of holding and a lot of like, oh, you guys, what in the safe place? You guys are literally like giving each other, like you guys are a safe, a safe space. You guys are in a safe and place and space. You guys do not want to leave. <laughs> you don't. It's almost like the second we get up, the second we leave the bed, it's like back to life, back to reality, right? <clears throat> Why the Eight of Cups? Thank you, Spirit. Messages. Okay, lovers. Sweet group. What can you tell us about this encounter? Why the Eight of Cups, please? What can you tell us about this? Yeah, I don't want to leave. I want to stay right here. Okay, so this person, especially if you've already had a little, you know, situation with them, if you guys have already, you know, hooked up with them in the past, this time is different. This time is different. This time, this person, they tell you, they share with you in a different way and you know it and you feel it. And because of that, you guys are like more strongly bonded. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's giving the vibes of you're going to feel like you are in love after perhaps, or maybe you're already in love, or maybe like you understand this bond a lot more deeply. 
these are things that this person or that you guys are going to talk about that someone held back in the past. And that's also something with that Eight of Cups leaving it behind. That's something that they're not doing this time. This person might literally tell you, like, I don't want to leave. Can I just stay here forever? And by them saying this, by them saying something like that, you realize, like, they've thought of that too. Or it hits you different. It hits different. There's like a reunion of souls here. What in the, we've been bonded. Y'all are like the fucking avatars when they get on their little flying, their, oh, you guys, I haven't seen it in a long time. You know, when they connect their braids, their tails, their ponytails to their little flying, flying um, companion. <laughs> you guys have been bonded. You guys wrapped your braids together or something. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. There's a reunion here for some of you. Yes. Twin flame reunion. If that's you, then you know that's you. I don't necessarily, you know, I, I don't push it. I don't encourage it, but I do acknowledge it when it comes up. Now, even if it's not twin flame, this is definitely a reunion uh, that you're, you both kind of needed this. Your souls are like, um, I'm telling you, you're fucking bonding in a major way. Listen, guys, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but if you think that after this encounter, you're going to be able to just forget this person and walk away, I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, there is indecision here that keeps showing up. We'll see if that ends up flying out. Why the Four of Pentacles in reverse? Why the Four of Pentacles in reverse? Oh, man. So the more vulnerable someone is, the hornier someone else gets, or maybe the hornier both of you get. Someone here is going to be real. Um, oh, you know what? Someone here afterwards is going to be like, oh, did I overshare? Did I say too much? This might be your person. Um, and you, someone here is, this does cause anxiety over this connection because this bond feels very intense. What else, please? Why the nine of swords? Someone was afraid. Someone was afraid to lose this. And someone was nervous or afraid or lost, lost sleep over healing this. And you feel like you're open and receptive. And you know how hard it is for this person to kind of do what they're doing or, or open up or say what they're saying. What else, please? Yeah, you guys, this is seriously giving the energy of like lovers, like almost like uh, consummating <laughs> right? in this lifetime. I don't know. The skies are going to part, bitches. The angels are going to sing. Mm hmm. And it, the messaging is so strong. The hottest thing coming through, the biggest like aphrodisiac going through your reading is the is vulnerability, bitches. Vulnerability. Intimacy through vulnerability. And that's what was needed here. And that's what falls into place. The connection, the chemistry, the sex, yes, it's good, but it's not just physical. This feels like it's spiritual sex. What in the tantric? I don't know. It seems sweet. It seems uh, full of emotion. It, it feels full of, uh, I don't know. Maybe you feel like you level. The, okay, no, for sure. That this, this encounter is going to level up your relationship with this person. You guys are going into a, a different level whether it's commitment or of your relationship, because you guys are having sex like this, it just, it doesn't feel it, I, like I shouldn't even just be calling it sex. Cause it's not just that. What in the making love? <laughs> I don't know. That's what, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. And it just feels right. You guys are super compatible. Someone here could have like, um, 
other people fighting for their attention or there's jealousy or competition. I don't know. Maybe there's an ex or I don't know, but it's like, it, it, it's like none of that stuff matters. Like if that's stuff that someone was stuck in their head, it's like, it doesn't matter because it's like your next or your first time with them is going to solidify your bond. Even if you've already hooked up with them in the past, this time is different. I don't know why. And it feels like it's been a long time coming. And it says that you know this. Maybe you've been sad over having to go with the flow or over how passive things are. But a part of you knows that someone needs to get rid of something toxic. Maybe it's this person. They need to level up. They need to mature up. And maybe that's, I don't know. This energy is matching this energy. So if you feel... If you're currently like just going with the flow or it's like if your intuition is kind of telling you or if it's like you already know that this person, it's like this is what they want or this is who they are. Because it's like I almost feel like they're expressing to you how they see you in their life, like in their life, open-ended, forever perhaps. And you guys have a lot of fun. It's almost like you guys know what each other likes without even saying it. So going into details, into the actual encounter, like I definitely feel like you guys are full on like having sex. This doesn't feel like you guys are just fooling around, but it goes deeper than that. This is like too, uh, I'm telling, we already talked about that. What in the forming bonds? What in, what in the, no, it doesn't even feel like a, like a sex ritual. <laughs> it just feels like you guys are two souls that are going to be coming together and becoming one so maybe that's the heavy twin flame energy i don't know um i don't know whoa okay let's see what else we can get thank you spirit messages from my group number threes please messages from my group number threes thank you spirit can we get more details please of this encounter there's going to be healing coming back together messages for my group number threes please What's their first or their next time going to be like with this person? What else can we know? What other details can we know? Thank you, Spirit. What's their next or their first time going to be like with this person? Thank you, Spirit. We have the Three of Pentacles. I'm going to take these up right. So someone wanting to bring in balance and work on this. I don't know. There could be a work connection. It's almost like someone is readying themselves here because they know, uh, yeah, they know. It's, I feel like this person is confident to some degree. And if it's not that they're confident, it's like they've been thinking about what's the best way to kind of be successful here or, or maybe, I don't know, get your attention or give this, yeah. Someone here is in their head and it has to do over approaching you or this also feels like they have to hide their feelings or hide this around others or hide the fact that they want to work on this. This person is very determined. I Yeah, I don't know if you guys have to hide this from others. This person, they're very passionate. It's almost like they're going to pour themselves on you. Oh my God, maybe even literally, huh? <laughs> I don't know, guys. It felt warm. It felt sweet and sticky. I don't know. I just had to say that. Maybe someone tastes good. Oh, these readings. They want <laughs> this person. They also like they want to make sure that like you're pleased. They want to come in and give you attention. And there's a big sense of privacy or they've been reflecting a lot as well. They've been thinking about you a lot and they're ready to like come in. They're tired of maybe having regrets or of thinking of the past. And this person also feels like more connected to you. You guys have been through a lot. Your guys' sexual chemistry is like through the roof, by the way. One of you might even tire the other out <laughs> during this. This person, 
they might tire you out. Because it's almost like they're like, I, this is what I've been wanting. And there, look at this. There is fear here. Why the Eight of Swords? Someone here was nervous over not getting what they want. Maybe you. No, I don't. I don't know this person. It's like they they want to make sure that you take them seriously. Maybe they feel like in the past they didn't present themselves in that way, and the way that they're approaching you is very important to them. They've been planning this out. And it's interesting because I think a part of this person told themselves that when they were doing better financially or it's like that's when they would pop in or maybe maybe it's even like work related and it happens like, I don't know, while they're at work or when they're getting off of work, maybe they're triggered by something and then they see a window of opportunity and they go for it. This person takes their responsibilities very seriously and they want to please you. Look how they're showing up as all four kings, but they don't see themselves as an emperor. So this person is going to try to satisfy you. And it's like they want to know what you like. So <laughs> don't be shy, my group number threes, if there's something that you want this person to do. But more than anything, I think you guys are just going to be happy. It's like this is what this person wanted. This person does kind of fear that they can't live up to you or your expectations. And that does not just have to do with the physical aspect. It's not. This is like in life, I feel like. Yeah, your energy goes way past just the physical for sure, you guys. This is like you guys are already married to this person in, in the ethers. Why the seven of swords with the three of pentacles? Maybe you guys have to hide this connection from someone or from work. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's something here. They're also kind of hiding the fact that they think about commitment here or they're very traditional to some degree. You guys match really well together. But because of the expectations that this person has or who they are in public or in their life or if they have kids or if uh, business, I don't know. It's like that's something that they take into account. And so they want you to like view them seriously because they don't want you to think that they're just kind of playing like nothing in their energy is saying that they're just playing with you. Six of Cups keeps coming up. Soulmates, reunions, but also children could be involved. Judgment in reverse, this could have been something that they ignored. Oh, yeah, look. Because you guys are soulmates, bitches. What in the... Okay. Well, y'all are going to be slipping, slipping and sliding into the ethers with this person, it feels like. Ha-ha! <laughs> What a nice encounter, huh? We just had <laughs> my group number threes. Let's get you some Oracle cards. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. Messages for my group number threes. Thank you, Spirit. Like peas and carrots or salt and pepper. Some of them have salt and pepper hair as well. You guys go really well together. We have trust the universe, Simon says. So there could have been a repeating cycle here. You guys had to surrender and trust. Maybe some of you didn't know that you were going to be able to find your soulmate or reunite with your soulmate in this way. We have the playlist was trash anyway. There could be music that reminds you of this person or vice versa. We have you're being checked out. Someone here was ignoring this connection um, for a while. We have take the risk or lose the chance. I mean, that just speaks for itself. And then we have creepy crawlers break out the raid. Creepy crawlers makes me think like this person was kind of lurking around for a while before they got it together. Um, we'll put that there. Maybe someone likes gummy candy. Oh, this real Moldavite. Someone could have Moldavite. A Moldavite is big changes, right? It's the crystal for big changes. 
um, and brings about big changes. Listen, the time I got Moldavite, I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you guys that story one day. <laughs> Messages from my group number three. Listen, that is a tale to tell. I will tell you guys that I guess we can say that Moldavite is probably part of the reason that I'm here. But it's also part of the reason that I almost had a freaking breakdown in the year I don't speak of. 2021, my friends. Listen, just a reminder, I'm on this journey with you guys. All right, we have the peace sign. So peace out. Someone also wanting to bring peace to the situation. We have don't be fake. Emotions have been covered up. Someone could have been wearing a mask. Someone also pretends. We have nasty. You guys are going to be getting nasty with this person. We have the chalupa, which makes me think of the six of swords. Um, moving in a different direction or like going into like calmer waters, moving into a calmer direction, I was going to say. We have the death card. So death and transformation um, is going to happen with this um, encounter that you're going to have with this person. We have the sacred heart with the dagger. So lots of love, lots of passion. Someone's name could be Rose. Um, or someone likes roses or smells like flowers, or there's something about a fragrance coming through. We have love is a drug. You guys are going to be peaking um, during your encounter with this person. That's what it makes me think of. Like you're going to be all in love after um, sipping on that love juice, friends. We have prince. That makes me think of romance. It also makes me think of doves cry and purple rain. We have the snake, which to me feels like transformation, growing out of the old skin, um, right? Shedding the old skin. And that's what your connection is going to be doing. And then we have a mangonada. Someone here um, could be bringing you a snack or slurping you up like you're a snack. I don't know. Listen, I just work here. We have W-H. Do we have Y? No. We have when. Maybe that's what you want to know. You're like, okay, but when? We have initials LLT. We also have CUD, which makes me think of Cuddy. So someone here could like Kid Cuddy. Makes me think, I think I channeled day and night the other day. We have V. That makes me think of V Day. V Duff. Not the Hillary Duff coming through. We have TV. Someone could have seen someone else on TV, not the commercial actor. Listen, if you're from where I'm from, you'd be seeing people on TV. We did have when. All right, let's see um, our astrology dice. And then let's get you guys a few little messages right here. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, we have number eight and 12. So 12 house makes me think of secrets. Eight. House of sex. So yeah, you guys are going to be bonding, sex and death. Um, so coming together as well. Maybe you guys will. Pluto. So unexpected changes, big, big changes. Um, what is that? Saturn or no? I think that's, I think that's Jupiter. I could be wrong on that one, but I think it's Jupiter. That's about luck and fortune. Then we have Leo coming through. So it could be something about summertime and Sagittarius. So fire signs, lots of passion. We also have earth sign coming through. We have booty. This person likes your booty. <laughs> Someone's got a big old butt. We have wow. Yeah, wow, your booty. This person loves your body. We have fingers. <laughs> Someone's going to be using their fingers. We have WYD. What are you doing? We have candy shop by 50 Cent. Haven't heard that in a long time. This person wants to take you to the candy shop. We have taste. Didn't I say someone tastes good? We dropped one. I got it. <laughs> what is she, psychic? All right, we have remember how much you liked it the last time. Ooh. <laughs> we have music, so a connection to music. And then we have the playlist was trash. Okay, so yeah, maybe you guys stopped listening to certain music. We have all over some... Someone might want to come all over someone else. I'm just going to say that. We have someone you know. Well, yeah. It, well, I think for most of you, this is definitely someone you know. Then we have bar dancing. You could have gone dancing with this person. Again, music is coming through. Maybe you guys both like dancing. Um, I think there's significant number, like 888, I keep seeing. And then we have daytime. The last time you saw this person, it could have been daytime or you will hear from them at the daytime. 
That could also makes me think of like lights on. <laughs> All right, my group number three, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks guys.